Hi guys, I'm Joe with Four Piston Racing. So we've been hard at work with our new B-Series race casting and Jackson and Josh have been doing a lot of the hand porting, flow bench testing and everything else that needs to happen with that. Um, but today we're going to show you something that's kind of cool and that's our CNC porting process. So right now we have the machine set up for digitizing. So we're taking that hand ported template that they made and we're turning it into something that can be reproduced accurately by the CNC machine. Um, so right here I got all everything set up for the machine to start working, start digitizing, start giving me a map of what that head's gonna look like, what that port's gonna look like. Um, we did a few intake ports and a few exhaust ports and we're just finishing up right now and uh, I think it's gonna look pretty good. So we can get started. So this is the first step of our digitizing process. So what this little probe's gonna do is it's gonna take little slices out of the port and kind of give us a map of lines that is the shape of our port and then we're going to make surfaces and actually a solid model off of that in the end. So this is going to go and touch a bunch of points around the port that Josh and Jackson made by hand and we're going to pick it up and put it in a computer and be able to cut it with the CNC then. So the stylus that was represented on the screen is actually this probe that goes down here and it's a really accurate down to a ten thousandth of an inch ruby tip probe. And what it's going to start doing is going around the port it's gonna pick up the information here on the valve side and then go over to the port exit side because we're doing an exhaust port right now. And uh, like I said, it's just gonna make a, kind of a blueprint of what this port's gonna look like. So yeah, this is gonna digitize two different exhaust ports and one different intake port. Honda heads are kind of nice. They uh, make all their intake ports the same and their exhaust ports are pretty similar too. So we can kind of take the information off one and spread it out into all four ports and that really helps with uh, just keeping everything equal, keeping everything even. Your airflow in one cylinder is going to be the same as the next. So what it's doing here is a 3D probing process. It's not actually a scanning process. So what you'll see is this probe, as it's going along the screen, is actually picking up different points on the cylinder head. And it'll put all those together to make these lines that we make the surfaces off of. So this is a exhaust port for cylinder number one that we probed a little bit earlier. And uh, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is define your planes here. And that kind of tells the probe where to go. And then for a four valve head, since you have a one single exit that goes down to two runners, um, you just have to define which runner you're gonna go down. So that kind of finishes up our probing process. What I'll do from here is I'll put all that data we collected into the computer and I'll probably spend, I don't know, three or four weeks working on manipulating that and making sure everything's smooth and everything matches side to side and you get, you know, eight ports that look pretty close and pretty identical to one another. Um, so from there, after we get it done in the computer, what we're gonna do is take it back out here and start cutting some heads. We're gonna do a few test heads and then, uh, fix some minor bugs and then go for the real thing. So thanks.